What's good the internet? The Lion Hearts back with his top 5 greatest superhero comic book films of all time. Number 5, Crow Zero. Incredible film. It's a film based off the manga Crows. And it's basically about a kid called Genji, who's the son of a Yakuza boss, that gets transferred to a school called Suzerain All Boys High School. And he basically wants to dominate that school and become the boss of it. And he has a godlike rival called Tomo, who's basically a beast. The fights, the drama, the action, the adaptation, the feel, the vibe, the music, the look, the look at friends, family, enemies, warfare, conflict. Human relationships, epic fights, the adaptation, the stylization, incredible. Number five. Number four, Blade. Let's go. Godlike film. I don't even need to tell you the description of this film. If you don't know this film, then you are day late and a dollar short. Oh, we're in the UK, so we're going to say a pound short. Boss film. The Daywalker. Blade. Wesley Snipes. In the building. In the building. This film was godlike. 1998. You'll never believe if you watch this film, this film was made in 1998. The Daywalker. All of the strength of a vampire, none of its weaknesses. This film was Dread, Deacon Frost, FROST. Number four, number three, Iron Man, godlike film. I won't even front. When I first heard about this film, I was skeptical. And I'm an Iron Man man. <laughs> I know about Iron Man. I don't follow the comics. So when I heard about this, I was skeptical, even when I saw the trailers. When I saw the first trailer, and you saw Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. in the dungeon. Cling! I was like, ooh, yeah, that looks sick, that looks sick, that looks sick. But when I went to watch the film, I went to the premiere, I wasn't expecting much. I wasn't expecting much. Not from Robert Downey Jr. at that time. Even at that time, I was expecting something like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, or Black and White, or Chaplin. Because those are the best films I'd watched to that date of Robert Downey Jr. So I didn't believe in Robert Downey Jr. as a superhero. This dude changed my perception of Iron Man, what Hollywood could do with Marvel films and Robert Downey Jr. period. Because let's face it, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. That film makes billions based off the fact that Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. The dude is a boss and he's incredible as Tony Stark. And Iron Man. This film is boss, man. Let's go. I'm done talking about this film. You know it. Number three. Number two. Man of Steel. Yo, this film was godlike. I loved this film. The character interpretation of Zod, Kal-El, Lewis Lane, Jonathan and Martha Kent, Jor-El, Flora. Amazing. Even Superman's mother, Laura Lorvan. So sick. I love this film. I never thought I would get to watch. A Superman movie adaptation this powerful. I went through such a range of emotion watching this film. Happiness, sadness, excitement, rage, joy. Not too much laughter because let's be honest the film wasn't that funny. But it didn't need to be. There was no dumb humour. It was just a Superman film told how I would love a Superman film to be told. Magic. Love this film. Yo I'm done. I'm done. This film is godlike. And if you ain't watched it, you better go watch it. My number two. My number one. The Dark Knight. Batman. Yo, this film was godlike. Godlike. This is Batman. Nobody will ever top Christian Bell for Batman. In my generation, I can say I've seen Iron Man in Robert Downey Jr. I've seen Superman in Christopher Reeves and Henry Cavill. But number one, the embodiment of a character. Number one embodiment as a whole. Christian Bell Batman, Bruce Wayne, number one. Easy, easy work, easy work. Easy breezy number one. But I'll be honest, the reason this film is my number one is actually not definitively because of Batman. It's because of the Joker, Heath Ledger. That dude was incredible. How you make a character with green hair, red lips, white clown makeup, in a purple suit, gritty, powerful, emotional, engaging, competent, dangerous, scary, ruthless, reckless. But smart, I've got no words. 
I've got no words to describe the portrayal of the Joker by Heath Ledger is absolutely incredible. It's heart wrenching this man died. That like this was his last film. It's heart wrenching. Heart wrenching. But if one film is going to be your ending legacy, I can think of no better movie legacy than the Joker in the Batman Dark Knight. Incredible film. My number one. Let's go.